Hey guys, I'm here at 2002 Merrimack. Kind of wanted to show you the neighborhood. So this is kind of your neighbors. Very well established older neighborhood. Everyone seems to maintain. I really like the curb appeal here. It's got a very nice roof on it. Uh, sits back, got plenty of space. Got some unique features here. So we're gonna go in and check it out. So here's your walk up. So immediately you walk in the door, you've got your living room to the left, and then you've got a full dining room here to the left, I'm sorry, and the living room is to the right. And so we're going to go through the living room and head towards the rest of the home. So it looks like they have a little butler's pantry right here in the living room. It's not a wet bar, but it's got some storage. Uh, they painted the wood paneling which seems to be a new trend instead of replacing it. So I think it looks pretty awesome. Um, they have the TV up there above the fireplace. Come a little further in. Looks like they have a bonus room upstairs. So here's your kitchen. So the kitchen's a little smaller than some of the other homes. We've got a little butler's pantry to the side of the fridge with plenty of storage. These are original wood cabinets too, so it's not that particle board stuff. You know, they got a vent hood put in. Nice backsplash. Uh, trash compactor, which you won't see very often, so that's definitely old timey. I don't even think they make them anymore. Here's your pantry. Lots of storage. It looks like it's got spice rack built in there. This oven is a built-in oven, so it's going to be a little smaller than your average, but you can still throw turkey in there. Uh, this is a, the convection-style microwave, which has become very popular. Uh, it looks like you have a gas cooktop, five burner. You got a full vent hood. Looks like it vents to the outside as well. Then you've got an eat-in area over here, just right off the kitchen. And I saw this pretty cool thing. It looks like they've got a doggy door right there underneath the stairway to go outside in case you have any dogs. Uh, the laundry room is right off the kitchen. It's secluded. It's got pretty good space. I would probably put a little hanging rack right there on this wall here so that way you can hang your clothes to dry. All right, we'll head to the garage. So here's the garage. Looks like it's got a little bit of storage in there. Uh, the water heater's behind this door, and I'm not allowed to move that stuff. Uh, it looks like you have a door to the outside, so I'll take a look at the backyard. I know backyards are big for you guys. Oh, this is this house. Okay, so this is your covered patio. This is like the epic center of entertainment here. I mean, that is just awesome. Full The kitchen style... We'll stay here. Uh, the grill will probably go. You'll probably be able to have to get your own grill, but I love this. This is awesome. It's all pre-wired for surround sound. It's got electrical ran everywhere, and it has a mister to help keep you cool. And then here's probably the best part, which is the pool. This pool is awesome. It does have a diving board, though, so my recommendation would be to remove that if you want to save on your homeowner's insurance. I'm looking for the pump. Oh, this fence is in spectacular shape too. Oh, so you've oh, it is a heated and cooled pool. So the gauge seems to be in good shape. The pump has been serviced multiple times. So you can see right there, the water is circulating at the top, which means the pump is working properly. Uh, you've got the heater and the cooler right here, uh, and then you got pool storage. Again, here's another picture of your roof, 30-year roof, spectacular shape, board-on-board -board fence, which is extremely expensive. Um, this pool is in fantastic shape, so here's kind of a better view for you. And, oh man, yeah, it's in very good shape. I don't see any cracks in the tile, nothing like that. The flooring's in good shape. Uh, this one may have become my favorite. Fly back in through the garage.
And so we'll stay downstairs for right now. Walk back through the living room. As you can see, there's two entrances to the backyard, which here's the second entrance. So you can kind of have a, a huge view of the, the outside, but the two ceiling fans, the mister, the plenty of space for entertainment. That is awesome. I haven't seen that. I love this fan and the beams in here too. That's a good feature. So we come over here, looks like we've got some lights that don't work. There we go. So here's a bathroom. It's cultured marble countertops with real wood finish. I'm coming here. You got a man toilet in here, so it's not a midget one. So it's got a fiberglass tub inside or a wall frame and then porcelain tub the upgraded rain shower that's kind of cool so we come in here and this is off of it looks like a guest bedroom so the carpet is in really really good shape and it's very padded i'm standing on it right now so this is the bedroom then we've got the walk-in closet, so this could be mom's room. Uh, that is a queen-size bed in here. As you can see, she's got room for nightstands on both sides. Might be a good idea for mom. We'll come back through this bathroom here. It looks like this will be the shared bathroom for everyone. Then we've got another bedroom over here. This one's just as good a size, too. Look at that. That's another queen bed in here with plenty of room. Nice oversized top, and this carpet, like I, it's in great shape. Let's see if this is a walk-in as well. Yes, it is a walk-in. So plenty of storage, built-in storage, awesome. All right, turn off this one. That one. Now we're gonna walk down to the master. This is. Also has a door to your extravagant pillow. And I don't know if you noticed this, but the hardwood that's through the living room comes all the way into the walkway of the master to the back door, which your back door, again, shows you this amazing patio. And then you've got crown molding through the top, modern fan. You've got a California King in here with plenty of space. For anything that you need, it looks like they have an air purifier in here. And this carpet, I'm telling you, this carpet is in great shape. So this master looks to be pretty awesome. Ooh, that's got great lighting. So here's the one I was worried about, which doesn't look to be too bad, but it's an oversized shower with a sit-in. And then you've got the dual rain heads and the storage. That's pretty awesome. Then you have this tiled out, or it's a stone tile, garden bathtub. Very nice. All right, so I think we found our first downfall. The closets aren't very big for the master, but I think there's two of them in here. So based on the age, I would assume, yeah, there is two. But there's plenty of other space. I haven't even finished the house yet. So that bathroom is pretty awesome. The room sizes are great. Looks like all the rooms are downstairs as far as I can tell. So we're going to go check out the upstairs. Walk back through your living room. I don't know if I highlighted these floors, but they are hand scraped. They're not the cheap stuff. So, and I can tell they've had dogs but they're in very good shape. So they put Berber carpet on the, the stairs, which is good for normal wear and tear, so you won't see it. Oh, and this looks like to be a huge game room, so just kinda wanna show you. It's very cool up here too, with the two ceiling fans. They've got the mounted TV up there, but yeah, that's a this is a good space. Has its own air conditioner up here. So there is storage. So it looks like they took in some of the attic and made a storage place. So if you need a another closet, it's upstairs. That's pretty awesome. So there's one other door up here. Let's see what's in here. 
Oh, it's a full bath. So you got a full bath upstairs. This is probably one of the longer videos because this home was huge. This one's got tile in here with a porcelain tub, but that's pretty awesome. So, man cave, woman cave, it's pretty awesome. Here's kind of a, a view from the upstairs of your pool, kind of a view of your neighborhood. And then one last thing is I'll go check out the AC unit outside and then we'll head to the next one. All right, here we are walking the outside. Oh, there's the big no-no. All right, this kind of concerns me. I don't know if you can see that, but that is a zigzag that shows the home has moved. So if you did like the interior, I would have to see if they've done some foundation work. It looks to be dug up, but I'd have to get some confirmation on that. So here it looks dug up pretty well. So there's a good chance they've already addressed the issue. But the AC unit is old, very old. And it's dual zoned, and this is power in the whole house. I'm not sure that's adequate enough. Yeah, they must have done foundation. This looks to be dug up all through here. So I'm going to have to research on that. But here's your rear driveway. And there's plenty of parking here. It's an alleyway. It's very secluded. Easy access to Centerville, which will take you anywhere you need to go. All right, this concludes this home, and I will head to the next one.